Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bidangagham! In this Shansha Amazing episode, we will be talking about the diversity of species in our country, the Philippines. Ang Pilipinas ay isa sa mga pinakamayaman na bansa in terms of species diversity. Henny and Regalado, in their book Vanishing Treasures of the Philippines, that was published in 1998, made the Filipinos proud when they described the Philippines as the Galapagos Islands times 10. The Galapagos Islands has a special meaning for biologists because of two reasons. First, it has unique plant and animal species composition and high biodiversity. The second reason is that this place, Galapagos Islands, greatly influenced Darwin as he formulated the concept of evolution and the theory of natural selection. The man you can see here is Charles Darwin. His theory of natural selection states that the environment or nature determines which of the new traits will or will not continue. We will discuss more about evolution and natural selection in our next Shensha Amazing videos. The Philippines is regarded as one of the 17 mega diversity countries in the world because it is blessed with an exceptionally rich diversity of species and aside from that, marami tayong mga endemic species kagaya ng Tarsier at Philippine Eagle na nasa pictures. These animals we can see in the pictures are just some of the many endemic species in the Philippines. Endemic species are those organisms that are found nowhere else in the world except the particular place, in this case, the Philippines. Gaano kayaman ang Pilipinas? in terms of species diversity. The Philippines houses 20,000 species of plants and animals. Of the estimated 7,620 species of plants, 5,832 are believed to be endemic plant species and found nowhere else in the world. Since we are a very diverse country, species diversity becomes important to us. There are three main reasons why. First, species diversity serves as valuable biological resources that we depend on to provide our food, industrial, and medical needs. The second reason is that greater diversity of species provide more ecological services. Ano ang ecological o ecosystem services? Ito ay mga benefits provided to humans from the natural environment or the ecosystems. Ang mga halimbawa ng ecosystems ay agroecosystems, forest ecosystems, grassland ecosystems, and aquatic ecosystems. The third main reason why we regard species diversity as important is that species of living organisms, especially those that are endemic to the Philippines, constitute not only national heritage, but global patrimony as well. It means that we are regarded as one of the outstanding universal values to humanity. What are some examples of important plant species in the Philippines? These species are very useful in terms of livelihood of Filipinos. The first plant species in our list is Canarium ovatum locally called pili. Protected by hard stony shell, the pili nut contains a single white 
fleshy seed, which is considered the most important product of the plant. The peely seed is used as main ingredient in pastries and baked delicacies for which Bicol is popularly known. Aside from that, the peely oil can be used for cooking and in the manufacture of soap. It's also refreshing to have a peely tree near your house because it provides shade during sunny days. Another important plant species is Cinnamomum sibuense, locally known as Kaningag. The Cebu cinnamon are important sources of camphor and essential oils used in perfume and pharmaceutical products. It is known for its aromatic o mababango na bark and leaves. It is said that the bark of Cebu cinnamon can be mixed with honey and may reduce the risk of heart attack, prevent arthritis, alleviate toothache, treat skin infections, lower cholesterol levels, and cure bladder infection among a long list of other diseases. The third important species we're going to discuss is Musa textilis, also called Manila hemp or just abaca. It is native to the Philippines but has been introduced to Borneo, Indonesia, and Central and South Americas. The Philippines is the largest supplier of abaca fiber. It is used in the manufacture of ropes, twines, fiber crafts, and textile fabrics. And even the brown envelopes and paper that we use come from abaca pulp and are commonly called manila envelope and manila paper. Even though the Philippines is rich in biodiversity, we are not prone to biodiversity loss. This loss is caused by rapid human population growth and increasing patterns of human consumption that may cause pollution or habitat destruction. A specific example would be the Philippine Eagle. Because of biodiversity loss and pollution, the Philippine Eagle is among the organisms which are considered endangered. Fortunately, human efforts just like artificial breeding and natural propagation methods are conducted in an effort to increase the population of Philippine eagles in the Philippines once again. We can increase public awareness to protect and conserve our economically important species. Aside from that, we can also join in environmental community activities. Local communities Implement conservation methods to save endangered species of plants and animals. They can do it through tree planting or cleanup drives. Lastly, we can do our own part by cultivating plants in our homes. We can do projects that involve the successful propagation of trees and other plants. We can establish nurseries of indigenous species just like fishes. And we can join programs that aim to rehabilitate habitats and renew utilized resources in our environment. That's the end of our short Shensh Amazing episode. Let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed today. This video talked about the species diversity in the Philippines. Specifically, we tackled the Philippines as the Galapagos Island times 10. Aside from that, we talked about the species, specifically some of the endemic species in the Philippines. We also discussed three economically important plant species, which are Pili, Cebu Cinnamon, and Abaca. Lastly, we addressed the issue of biodiversity loss in the Philippines. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!